Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Coletta Pennell. Let's talk. So today I want to talk about Trump. I am not a big Trump supporter at all, but um, I seen on TMZ at like six o'clock this morning, they posted breaking news saying that Trump said that he was going to beat Joe Biden ass because Joe Biden made a joke or whatever, like a high school joke saying that he'll take him in the gym or behind the gym and he'll kick his ass because usually the kids that's picking on other kids are big and fat and have low self-esteem and woo -de woo -de woo which is sometimes true. But you can't blame Joe Biden. Who wouldn't want to kick Trump ass? I would. I'd take him behind the gym too. Because he talks too much shit. Now he's telling Joe don't make threats. This is his second time threatening him and yada, yada, yada. You lucky that's all you getting is threats, okay? Because if it was up to the people, your ass would be impeached. Out of here, okay? Next thing I want to talk about, Ben Carson. So you're going to blame it on your wife for the furniture, right? Because she have expensive taste. Well, let me tell you something. We girls do have expensive taste. And we like nice things. And nothing is wrong with that. So, don't just put full responsibility on your wife. Because she made the purchase. I mean, it was nice furniture. And who wouldn't want nice furniture? A girl loves nice furniture. Especially with a nice price tag. I mean, that's still not going to get you out the doghouse by blaming her. So let's be a little more realistic, Ben Carson. I just had to share some light because I don't know what's going on in Congress today. They act like we don't have serious things going on right now, like this health care. Um, why I can't go to the doctor for free? Why I can't get my tea checked for free? Why I can't go to the dermatologist, okay, for free? You know the doggone checkup is like two fifty just to see somebody, and that is no guarantee that you even gonna get treatment. I got pimples right now that I need checked, and I can't. And I got a case of plaque psoriasis that need attending to that I can't get checked. While y'all on here wanna play some goddamn Twitter beef, like. Us working class citizens don't have real issues that need to be addressed. I'm just saying. Hello? Can I get somebody? Can I get an amen? Also, I was watching um, the new Love and Hip Hop Atlanta with Kurt and Rashida and... um. Well, Jocelyn wasn't on here. Stevie and um, Carly Red. Dime. I can't forget about Dime. Hey, girl. How that rock doing? How you and that rock doing? Okay. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so Mimi is like with this another lesbian girl. Hopefully this relationship works out because I really want her to win. Like she done brought like three, four, five lesbos on here. None of these hoes don't work. The only thing did work was that scumbag who she did the sex tape with. And that didn't really work either. But I mean, she made money off of that. So she got to check. But um, Mimi, I'm really praying for this relationship, so I hope you get it together, okay? Um, Dime, I can't wait for the wedding, girl. When you gonna have this wedding? You need to have it big on TV like everybody else, because you is a star, okay? You a star. You is winning. You winning. You definitely winning, okay? Um, Who else I want to talk about? Kurt and Rashida. Nah. I got to fix my ponytail for this one. Because it gives me a headache. So, Rashida, 
I just want to say your goddamn website with all that shit on there is too goddamn high. We can't afford that shit, okay? So change the damn prices and figure that shit out because we can't afford that. I want to support, but I can't afford $300 on some motherfucking sandals, okay? That I'm going to wear like two times. Shit, the summit and already came and gone already. So I'm going to need you to go down on them damn prices. And Kurt, what are you doing? Like, how you going to say that you moved on from it? You found out the results and you moved on from it. You're trying to move forward. So I'm just like, what's going on? In your head, like, do you think this is going to be like the rest of the time? She's going to just like forgive you and sweep it underneath the rug and y'all just going to go back to being a happy family because that's not. And then you're trying to blame reality TV for ruining your family. That's not because you was doing this shit already. You've been doing shit since the first episode of the first show from the hot tub to the bar to the condo you've been getting it in my nigga like we're not shocked that's the crazy part we're actually not shocked because your behavior has led up to this turning point now it's just crazy trying to figure out how you're going to get yourself out of this hole it's not like the last times you just cheated on Rashida and just buttered your way back in. This time you buttered your way back in, but you got something lingering and it's a whole nother life. How do you expect your wife to pick up the pieces and move forward when you haven't totally been honest from the start and now that you are trying to make things right don't you think all y'all need to sit down and try to talk this out the right way how it should have been done the first time before it even escalated to this because she should never even came to the party and expose y'all business like that that wasn't the time that wasn't the place that wasn't the setting and that definitely wasn't the people Cause you know Carly was going to instigate. She went straight to fucking instigate. That who better than instigating Gadget. She like instigating Carly. She need her own goddamn shit. Her own goddamn device. The Carly device. Carly will find your ass and all your info in 2.2 seconds. Okay? Hmm. So... That tea was so good. I was a little parched. But if you like this video, make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can receive all my notifications on my video. So until next time, see you on the next video.